The TCG Istanbul, launched Saturday as the first frigate and largest warship domestically designed and manufactured by Turkey, is an excellent example of the country's progress in the defense and naval industries. The ship was produced through close public-private cooperation, the efforts of all main and subcontractor companies and the contributions from small and medium-sized enterprises or SMEs, reported DailySaba.com. The Istanbul Frigate F-515 was developed within the scope of the country's national ship project or Milgam as the fifth vessel manufactured under the project, while the sixth and seventh vessels are on the way, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said Saturday during the launching ceremony. The TCG Istanbul, which includes different features than the previous four corvettes, is a product of 70% local production. Erdogan said that Turkey is among the 10 countries that can design, build and maintain their own warships. We will bolster our navy power in five years with five major projects, Erdogan said during a speech at the launch ceremony of an Istanbul frigate. Along with the launch of the Istanbul frigate, the ceremony also marked the groundbreaking of the third ship to be constructed for the Pakistani Navy under the Milgam project. Erdogan pointed out the exceptional defense relations between the two countries, which has great potential. We are moving a historical brotherhood between Turkey and Pakistan one step further. Just like Turkey, Pakistan also struggles against many terrorist threats in a difficult region. I believe that both countries can help each other in defying these threats," he said. The Pakistan Navy signed a contract with Turkey's Military Factory and Shipyard Management Corporation or ASFOT in July 2018 to acquire four Milgam-class ships. The Milgam project was initiated in 2000 to locally design and build a fleet of multi-purpose corvettes and frigates that will replace older ships. Turkey has built four corvettes so far in line with the program, namely the TCG Habiliata, the TCG Bukata, the TCG Bergazada and the TCG Kiniliata, while the fifth vessel, the first Milgam 1-class frigate of its kind, the Istanbul frigate, was recently added to the inventory of the Turkish military with Saturday's ceremony. feature that differs the Istanbul frigate from other Milgam vessels is that on the one-class frigates, surface-to-air guided weapon or more specifically, shipborne medium-range air defense missile systems, are being used. Turkish defense giant Aselsan's Gokdeniz close-in weapon system and the newly developed three-dimensional radars will also be integrated on the vessel. It has been announced that the TCG Istanbul will house many domestic weapons and sensor systems, complemented by the FIRSA hull-mounted sonar system developed by prime contractor Aselsan and subcontractor Armelson for submarine defense warfare. The TCG Istanbul will also be equipped with the Aselsan Hazar 3D air search radar in place of the Smart SMK-2 used in the existing Milgam-class corvettes. Additionally, the National Vertical Launch System or MDAS will be used for the first time on the TCG Istanbul. It was previously stated that the MK-41 VLS will be purchased from the US for the TCG Istanbul, Akbaba told Daily Saba, however this changed due to the US embargo that prevented the purchase, accelerating domestic work to develop such systems within the country. Ismail Demir, head of the Presidency of Defense Industries, said during the ceremony that they maintain the works to ensure 100% local and national production, especially in critical technologies and strategic areas. Along with Aselsan, Turkey's leading defense company Havelson is a main business partner in the frigate project. 
The project also has around 80 subcontractors producing more than 150 systems. Around two-thirds of those subcontractors are domestic. The majority of domestic suppliers working on the projects other than the manufacturing company STM Defense Technologies Engineering and Trade Inc. and its main business partners are SMEs. Two-thirds of these are industrial producers and the rest are technology-oriented suppliers. Demur also said during the ceremony that those projects, including the Frigate project, are implemented through a wide network of cooperation with main and subcontractor companies, SMEs, universities and research centers under the coordination of our presidency, with the support of our Naval Forces Command and relevant public institutions. Speaking about naval capabilities, Erdogan hinted at some details of the new projects, signaling major improvements in the Turkish Navy's submarine, aircraft carrier and naval defense capacity. He said a new aircraft carrier, which will be designed indigenously, will promote Turkey to the top league in the naval field. Gokdena's systems, the naval equivalent of Cork at low altitude air defense, will be added to the inventory of the Turkish military with the Istanbul frigate, he added. Erdogan also noted that six new submarines will be taken into service starting from 2022, one for each year. The Turkish Navy plans to commission the ship this year, but the delivery deadline has been extended to 2023 due to latency in assigning prime contractors. The Frigate 1 class building program was launched to build four frigates to replace the aging Yavuz class in the mid-2020s. Developed under the original Milgam warship program, the Istanbul class is an enlarged variant of the Ada class anti-submarine corvette. 